All right, everyone, don't forget, we have your uni exam on Monday. I expect you will be spending the weekend studying instead of going to any fancy parties. Oh, Miss Conway, stay here for a minute. I'm sure lunch can wait. Do you know why I called you over to my desk, Conway? I don't know. I was using my phone during class. During the entire lecture. All week. And I assume there are no family emergencies going on either. Unless you want me to contact your parents. No. I, I mean, no. no. Nothing's going on. Um, you don't need to call them. <laughs> I would hope not. But if something is happening, you know you can talk to me, right? Uh, so, yeah, wait, what? <sighs> Last year, in my law class, you were an excellent student. You openly participated in class discussions, and you were in the rugby team. Sometime during the winter, you stopped participating and became more quiet. Your grades began to drop, and my wife informed me of your resignation on the team before the spring playoffs even started. Why does this matter? It was last year. Because as much as I told you to hold more restraint and to be careful about what you say, you refuse to let your thoughts go unheard. Now, I don't see that same passion that once was. Raylan, you are a senior. You will be an adult soon. Early college applications will be due by the end of this month. Your GPA is still relatively high, even with your dwindling grades from the second semester of junior year. But from what I can tell from the turnout of your recent quizzes, you are not improving. I hope you know that colleges still do acknowledge your senior year grades, and you still have time to make changes. But even time can't wait. I better see progress on Monday's upcoming exam. Colleges do love a comeback story, as cheesy as they are. Hey, guess we don't have enough time to stick off campus for lunch. Maybe we could do it some other time and just hang around the common area instead? Yeah, sure. We could do it some other day. <laughs>